Tonight's episode of Horrified is brought to you by Fright Rags, the greatest and most original officially licensed horror apparel and accessories in the world. Go to FrightRags.com and use promo code AIRYSCOPE10 at checkout and save 10% off your entire order. And now, AIRYSCOPE Pictures presents the original series, Horrified. Is there anything scarier than being lost? I mean, besides the obvious answer of watching a sex tape your parents made in the late 70s, that you found completely by accident while looking for a VHS tape of your communion, that you planned on editing together into a family memories video to give to your grandfather on Christmas. I mean, you realized pretty quickly what it was, but then something else took over, and you were so horrified, you couldn't look away. And now I haven't been able to touch my own husband for 16 weeks. I mean, besides that, being lost and having no idea where you are, or if anyone will ever find you again, is a truly terrifying ordeal. However, sometimes it's not you that's lost. It's everyone else. For actress and comedian Kelly Vrooman, not being able to find her family truly horrified the hell out of her. And keep in mind, this is a woman who shot 52 episodes of The Chica Show and performed in 712 episodes of The Sunny Side Up Show opposite a squeaking chicken puppet for Sprout Children's Television Network. She is one tough Chica. <laughs> When I was six, there were two absolute truths in the world. One is that um, jelly donuts are the best kind of donut. And the second one was that every day when I got home, when my school bus pulled right in front of the house, my mom would be there waiting to walk me up our long driveway back to the house. Those were the two absolute truths that I knew. But today, on this day, when my mom was not there to greet me at the end of my school day, it was complete silence in the neighborhood. And that meant one thing to my little six-year-old brain in central Ohio, and that meant the rapture had happened and Armageddon had begun. So immediately I'm like, oh, survival mode. And I'm like, oh my gosh, okay, no. Well, maybe mom's inside, maybe mom's inside. There's no way I'm the only one in my family who got left behind, right? I got left behind. Everybody else in my mind had been raptured, taken up by Jesus. Jesus came back, took all, like everyone that I knew in my little hometown of Ohio because everyone was Christian. I either went to church with or went to my Christian school with or like Bible study with literally everyone in my neighborhood <laughs> and everyone that I knew. So I was like, oh my gosh. Oh, Oh, I'm not good enough. What did I do? Oh, I hate my little brother, but ew, is that enough to make me be left behind? So I was like, you know what, Kelly, don't jump to conclusions. Let's walk into the house. But our driveway was like 200 feet. It is 200 feet long for a driveway. I think it is. It's like 200 feet. It was it was 200 yards. Yeah, it was a mile long. And so I get up to the house and my mom had locked it, obviously, and I'm like looking in the windows, peering, and there's just nothing. It's like it's like I could see that the meal that mom had started to make for dinner was there. Like it's on the counter. Like the only conclusion is that she's been raptured. So then next I start looking for clothes because I'm thinking, well, if you're raptured, your, your clothes are probably left behind because that's not really part of you. But then I'm like, oh, then that means that there's probably a bunch of naked people in heaven right now. And I had some problems with that, uh, you know, morally as a six year old. So I didn't see any clothes, so then I was like, okay, well, mom's definitely been raptured and her clothes went with her. That scientific fact is now proven. And then I'm like, okay, so I have the next seven years. Apparently, biblically, according to Revelation, that's what happens. All the Christians are raptured, and then seven years of just terror and screaming and horror happens. And then after the next seven years, um, I guess that then Jesus comes back again and it just demolishes every. I forget. Um, I mostly just watched cartoons. So uh, I'm like, okay, well now I have the next seven years of my life to somehow get through. Good news is no more school. That's good. But I was like, who do I know that's not a Christian? My neighbor, Nancy. Now I knew that Nancy wasn't a Christian, um, mostly because she smoked. And, you know, so uh, I was like, Nancy, Nancy's gonna be there. Nancy can save me. And my heart just starts beating and pounding. Please, Nancy, be there. Please, Nancy, be there. Please, Nancy, be there. And I get up to their house and I reach my little hand up and I knock on the door and I wait. I'm listening for footsteps. 
I'm listening for any indication that I'm not alone in the world. And all of a sudden, the doorknob starts to jiggle and the door creaks open. And standing there is Nancy. Nancy with her tanned, leathery skin and her shoulder blades that poke out like dragon wings. And I was like, Nancy! And I just start sobbing. And I recount the tip. I've been left behind. Rapture, you smoke. So I know that you're also left behind. We are everyone dead. Mom, heaven, naked people, no clothes. And Nancy's just like, kid, 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 kid. Calm down. Calm down. Come in. Your mom's probably just late coming home. And I was like, how dare you? No wonder why you were left behind, not acknowledging that naturally when my mom's not there, that means the rapture has happened. How little you know, Nancy. We come in, and there, on Nancy's kitchen table, was a box of donuts, most of which were jelly-filled. And that's when I was like, this rapture's not gonna be so bad. Nancy, you're my mother now. And she was horrified.